Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for joining me for this Friday's Bible study. We are learning so much through this. I have enjoyed it immensely. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, then no worries. You can just jump in with us here. You can also go back. All the other videos will be linked down below. Um, I will have the book as well linked down below. There's also an app by the same name where you can find a lot of resources there's a kindle version but we're going through the book i deserve a donut and other lies that make you eat <laughs> so um this is like getting to the root of why people and us <laughs> why we overeat and it's not so much just because oh well we love food and whatever it's because we have a heart issue that needs to change that we need to give to god and that is just the truth. And you try to do weight loss on your own strength. It, it's much more challenging and it's it's so hard to stay with it. When you give it to God and you renew your mind, it just is so much easier. So this is by Barb Raveling. I am not affiliated with her. She does not know who I am. Everything I say is just what I'm learning as I'm going through this book. It's not what she's saying. <laughs> but sometimes we say the same thing and sometimes I go off on my own thing. So I'm just want to cover the base. Sometimes it's just my own thoughts. So last week we learned about emotional eating. That's such a huge one for me and it came at the perfect time <laughs> because last week my kids were sick. Nate's still not feeling good, but he's back at school. And it's just been kind of an emotional week, you know, when, when stuff like that goes on, I really want to turn to food. And I feel like I did pretty well. There was a few moments where I did, but for the most part, I was able to rein it in and not let my emotions get the best of me. And when I felt like the fear start to creep in, I kind of just pushed it down. I'm like, no, that's not true. That's not the truth. A lot of times when my kids get sick, I tend to like, um, oh my gosh, you know, what, what happens if it gets worse and, and I, and I stress out. Um, and I just stopped that this time. So, uh, anyway, this week we're, we're learning about entitlement eating. Um, I don't know. This is one that I'm sure I do struggle with occasionally, but it's not one of my top few. Um, but I know for some people it is. So, the first thing she does when she, uh, in the chapter is she lists questions to ask yourself. If you may be struggling with this, what do you feel like eating? And you know what? Um, a lot of these uh, start with that. What is it that you feel like eating? Are you feeling like you want a cheeseburger? What is it that you want? Number two, why do you feel like you have a right to eat in this particular situation? I feel like entitlement eating um, kind of is a social thing for me sometimes. Like if you're with someone at a restaurant and they order a cheeseburger, even though you weren't really planning on ordering that, you feel like, well, if they get one, I should get one. I should, I deserve that. I don't want to sit here and eat a salad while they eat a cheeseburger. I need a salad. I need a cheeseburger, you know? Um, so why do you feel like you have that right? Do you think God agrees with your outlook on life? Why or why not? Um, what does God say about being entitled to something? What usually happens when you live by your rights and your feelings in this area of your life? So, Living by that feeling of entitlement um, is dangerous because we aren't entitled to anything. We are blessed with what we have. Um, and sometimes it feels frustrating. Like, why do I have to eat at home? I want to go out to eat and, and not being thankful for what you do have. And kind of it, it's that selfishness where you feel entitled. Um, and, you know, you can't be led by that emotion. Would your life be better if you gave up your rights and held life and food with open hands? Why are not? Why not? Uh, when you give up your rights, your rights to eat whatever you want, but at the same time, when you eat whatever you want, a lot of times that comes with all kinds of baggage, and you feel terrible about yourself. You feel miserable because you've overeaten. Like we talked about before, those boundaries keep us safe. The boundaries we talk about every single week, those boundaries keep us safe and healthy. Um, just like boundaries with kids, you know, don't cross this line. There's there's cars out there. There's you know, as moms we do that all the time. This is your boundary while you're playing, and the boundaries we create for our diets is the same way. They're to keep us safe. If we just have has said, oh, just eat whatever you want. And I'm sure a lot of us have done that. Um, it usually ends up bad for us. 
Are boundaries easy to follow or do you usually have to give up something to follow them? Um, sometimes if boundaries are too easy, then it might not be the right boundaries for you because boundaries are supposed, not that it should be super hard, but it should be something if, you're, if your boundaries are just, I can eat whatever I want, that's not much of a boundary. So maybe you need to tighten it up a little bit. What will you have to give up to follow your boundaries this time? Um, so maybe your boundaries are counting points. And we've talked about everybody's boundaries are different. Some people's are counting points. Some people's are hunger and fullness, whatever your boundaries is. But let's just say your boundaries are counting smart points. Um, if you go out to eat with a friend and you don't have enough points to eat a cheeseburger, then your boundaries are you need to find something that you can eat within your points. And if you go over that, what are you going to have to give up? You're going to have to give up messing up on your boundaries. You're going to have to give up that feeling that you did the right thing and you stayed in your boundaries. What is it that you're going to have to give up? What will your life and body look like a few months down the road if you develop the habit of consistently following your boundaries? Um, and this, to me, is sums up entitlement. Entitlement a lot of times is right here in the moment. I feel entitled to eat whatever this is, or I feel entitled to not go do what I need to do. Um, so, um, but it's, it's immediate gratification. It's immediately, I get what I want. But later on down the road, you're not thinking about later on down the road when you're in entitlement mode. You're thinking of right now, I feel entitled to eat this. It's not fair that they get to eat it and I don't. I am entitled. Um, when you think of all you'll gain, is it worth the sacrifice? Are your boundaries worth the sacrifice? Because they are a sacrifice. Like I said before, if your rules are too loosey-goosey, they're not a sacrifice. Um, and everything that's worth having is worth sacrificing for. You know, to have the life and to be the person that God created you to be, there's going to be times where you have sacrifices that you have to not do. Um, okay. And then the next thing is the Bible verses that go along that. Um, let me try to find a couple that stood up to me. Um, Philippians 4.11. I love this verse. Not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I'm in. And of course, this goes for more than just food, but I love this verse because so many times we compare ourselves to others and we compare ourselves to what other people have or what other people do. And I do this and I'm like, oh, if I could just have this, if I could just have that, I'll be content. But you need to learn how to be content where you are now, whatever size you're in, whatever pound you are on the scale, you need to learn how to be content and love your body now as it is. Um, when you when you lose the weight, if you don't get that fixed, you're not going to be content then. You'll always be looking to the next thing. So um, you need to learn how, because you know what, at the end of the day, God is the one that, that says who you are and you can be content in him, even if your circumstances aren't the most ideal. Okay. Um, let's read. Man, it's a hard choice. I don't want to have to read all these to you guys. Even though this video really long. Uh, let's read First Peter one fourteen and sixteen through sixteen. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the form of lust which you were which were yours in your ignorance. But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behavior, because it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. And I don't think this is saying if you're overweight, you're not holy. But I do think it's saying that sometimes you when you turn to food over and over again, it's like an idol. It's like something in your life that you're turning to instead of turning to God. And I say that for myself too. When you constantly turn to God, you're you're giving him that that part of you. When you're turning to food, you're, you're looking to food to fill that part of you. So um, to be holy is to turn to God and to do things the way he wants it to be done. So um, I just, I like that verse. So um, tips. It's hard to break, break free from entitlement eating because we hear the message everywhere. Life should be fair. That goes back to what I, I, I think of entitlement eating as that's not fair. I want that. And it kind of sounds like a toddler, right? <laughs> if she gets something, you get something. You shouldn't have to suffer. You deserve a good life. The best way to break free from entitlement eating is to adopt a biblical perspective of life. God never said you deserve a good life, and of course you have the right to eat. Instead, he said, if you want to follow me, you have to be willing to give up everything. When we hold food with tightly clenched fists and say it's our right to eat, we're basically saying, I deserve this, God, and I'm not willing to give it up. 
God says that food will never make you happy. Come to me and I will give you abundant life. The more we hold food with open hands, willing to give it up for God, the more content we'll be. If you want to gain victory over entitlement eating, learn to hold food with open hands. Um, and she says, I'm not saying we should starve ourselves. Let's just be willing to follow our boundaries. So that kind of just sums up everything I was trying to say. And I'm sure she said it way better than I did. But um, as a Christian, as someone who follows God, there is so many times where I want to do it a different way than God says. And I have learned, and I'm still learning, that when I do it the way He says, I am happier. And it's kind of that thing of as, as this culture today, it's all about do what makes you happy and, and be the person you want to be. And it's all about me, 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 me in our culture. It just is. But God says, lay that all down. Lay your desires, your wants, your dreams. Lay it all down to me. And then I will take it and make even something greater than you could even imagine. And that's the same way with our weight and our eating. And, you know, so many times, and I, and I do see glimpses of this in my life. So many times I'm like, oh, well, this little time, it doesn't matter. We're having a party and I want a piece of cake or whatever. Um, but when I'm willing to lay that down and not even go into I deserve it, it's one thing to make it fit in your boundaries and work at it. But if you're just eating because you feel like you deserve it or it's not fair, that kind of negative attitude, that is dangerous because then, then it's sometimes harder to say the next time. You know, if you can make it fit in your boundaries, there's nothing you can't have. Um, if it fits in your boundaries, it's not, we're not saying don't eat, um, but do it in the right way and don't do it just because someone else is doing it and poor pitiful me because that kind of outlook does not help. So and that is going to be it for our entitlement eating. Um, and I'm definitely going to be thinking this week and kind of seeing if there's any area that I need to, after we, after we talk about it on Fridays, it's amazing throughout the week, how much I'll see like, Oh, I totally do that. <laughs> Some things I think, Oh, I don't have a problem with that. And then uh, throughout the week after we've talked about it, I'm like, Oh yeah, I kind of do. So, um, just be thinking about it. If this is something you really struggle with, like I really struggle with the emotional eating, put some Bible verses verses around on index cards um, or like sometimes I'll write them on my hand just so that you can have it right there when you're struggling um, that you can you know go to that um, and and not struggle with it as much it really really helps so my camera light is flashing because I'm on the side of battery next week this is a good one y'all next week failure eating to do this failure eating <laughs> um, when you fail what happens do you say oh well I have failed so now I'm just gonna fail even more or do you pick yourself up dust yourself up and move on and I think this is one that we all can relate to so let's pray real quick and we're gonna close this out dear Jesus thank you so much for everyone joining me God thank you for the chance to learn about um, your word and to be with each other and just build each other up God I pray for anyone that's struggling with entitlement eating that they're able to lay that down to trust you with it, and to let you work on their heart, God. I pray blessings on every single person watching this. Help them this week as they go throughout their week of food, God, that you would just be in control, God. We love you. We thank you for the study. In your name, amen. Okay, guys, so I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, next week is, like I said, the failure eating, and I'm going to be really <laughs> honest on that because it's something I definitely struggle with, and we're going right along on this book, guys. I really enjoyed it. I really appreciate all of you joining me. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I post every single day on this channel, and of course, every Friday as the camera goes in and out out of focus. <laughs> Every Friday is my Bible study where we're going through. I deserve a donut. So I love you all. Leave me some comments down below. Do you struggle with entitlement eating? What is the biggest struggle? Let me know and I will see you guys back later. Took some time but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a 